Bailey. After years of asking, the Sims community <laughs> finally got what they wanted. Though now we have to ask, is The Sims 4 Horse Ranch worth an entire expansion pack? But first, a quick thank you to the EA Creator Network for giving me early access to this pack. The world of Chestnut Ridge has that classic Western cowboy town vibe. You can ride along horse trails in Galloping Gulch, participate in horse riding competitions in the town center of New Appaloosa, or build the ranch of your dreams in Riders Glen. No matter where in the world you go, you'll see townies riding their horses around everywhere. Speaking of horses, can we just appreciate how much work the team put into these majestic creatures? With over 35 different horse breeds and the ability to fully customize them with different colors, stencils, and paints, you can really take the reins, the reins, with creating the perfect horse for your sim. I mean, look at my horse. Or should I say, unicorn. But what is a horse without a cowboy? The cast for this pack is incredible, with so many options to choose from, no matter what style of cow folk you are, and even various dirty swatches to show off how hard you work on your ranch. We also got two new traits and two new aspirations for your sims. I'm excited to yee and haw my way through this pack. As for build by, let's just say I spent over an hour trying to place every single item with every swatch available. And this is just the normal build by. This isn't even debug items. I'm also just thinking about how well these objects will pair with other items from packs like Cottage Living and even some items from the Werewolf pack with all the grungy and like beat up wood swatches. Gameplay wise, we didn't get just horse riding action, but also things like nectar brewing. There's a cave to explore. You can go down to your local bar and just bust it down with your friends. And of course, raising mini goats and mini sheep. Not only can you shear the sheep and milk the goats for simoleons, but once your friendship is high enough with them, they can also help you tend your garden by eating weeds and bugs. Of course, gardening plays a big part in nectar making. Being able to grow your own produce, craft it into nectar, then age it until you can sell it for more money, or you should just chug it straight from the bottle for your own drinking pleasure. Back to the horses, we got a brand new horse riding skill. When you're first starting out riding, your sim isn't too comfortable while galloping along, but as you gain your skill, the more comfortable you look while riding your horse. Your horse also has different skills it will gain based on the different activities there are for them to do. Jumping, barrel racing, overall endurance from going on long rides. The bond between sim and horse is truly a strong one. Your horse can even get bullied by your mini goats and sheep and become sad. And then you have to try and cheer up your horse. Now, while I was doing my silly little gameplay, checking out this pack, I had an idea. What if I put 100 mini goats on my lot? I could have done this with sheep as well. Uh, it really didn't matter, but I just decided to go for goats to make it easy. I took my sim down to the community board in Galloping Gulch, where I reside, and went to make my purchase. The maximum number of one type of animal let you purchase at a time is 99. You could purchase 99 of multiple animals if you really wanted to. Since I already had one mini goat and mini sheep on my lot, I grabbed my extra 99 mini goats and made my way back to my ranch. Once back, I quickly realized that I had to place down each individual goat, one by one. For that alone, I don't recommend doing this, unless I'm just being silly and didn't figure out an easier way to do this. As I started placing the goats, I was cracking up watching all of them run free around the ranch until I had all 99 placed down, making that 100 mini goats, one mini sheep, and one horse on my ranch. I didn't really have an overall goal in doing this. I kind of just wanted to see how long it would be until my goats started running away. Yeah, if you don't take care of your mini goats or mini sheep, they will leave your ranch. Kind of like, you know, cats and dogs. Um, there is also a chance that they will come back. I think you have to keep your ranch in a good position for that to happen. But anyway, it did not take long for my ghost to start becoming smelly. I had my poor sim run around trying to wash as many as they could before they started passing out. After some time passed in game, I thought maybe it would be a good time to hire a ranch hand to come out and help me with all these goats. Ranch hands are supposed to come help out from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. But I think I noticed through my entire time playing with this pack, they seem to stay a lot later than 7 p.m. However, it could either be a bug due to this not being the final product, or maybe they just had a lot to do. As more time went on, I was getting threatening messages of my goats being unhappy. I powered 
through until 40 minutes after starting this, the mass exodus of my mini goats began. Now, when they run away, you'll be alerted with a sound telling you of the mini animals departure from your ranch. And when you have a hundred of these animals all leaving at once, the notifications get a little much. As my mini goats hopped away into the sunset, my sim self sat crying into their breakfast, wondering what they did wrong. I don't know, maybe it was due to all of them being smelly all the time. I could be wrong. Overall, I'm absolutely in love with this pack. I think going for the Western type world when it came to adding horses was a good move. Bringing Native American culture into this pack with food, home items and clothing while giving us hairstyles to base game. So not everything was pack lock also makes for something so important. However, I do firmly believe that representation of any culture should not be locked behind packs at all. If you want to see me explore more with the horse ranch pack, you can swing on by my Twitch channel. I stream Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link will be down below. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what your favorite thing about this pack is in the comments and maybe I'll see you over on my Twitch. Yeehaw.